Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with some happy mail. Ah, yes. Um, <clears throat> both are things that I was kind of expecting. Um, I'm going to start with one which was something that I won. Now I've just taken off tape and stuff to make my life a little bit easier because as we all know, nearly everything is in Deborah Proof Packaging. This first lovely little mailer bag came a long way to get here and tried to come here twice. You know, back when the big C was causing even more problems and people were like closing borders because they're stupid, um, like closing borders for mail. I mean, yeah, maybe not let people come in and cough on you, but let the mail run, right? Well, Miss Ingrid had her potiversary and I won something from Miss Ingrid. And she sent it out. As it was on its way here, we had closed the borders for a short time for anything, including mail and packages from South Africa. So it got sent back to Ingrid and she had to send it out again at her own expense, mind you, which I think was just crazy because of the way it happened. But whatever, I have to tell you, inside this pretty white package is an even prettier purple package with little gold dots on it. So sweet. And I'm opening it here and I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm not matching with purple today, though, or warm colors for my meeting today at work. Video meeting, because I don't go anywhere, you know. <laughs> Why would I go anywhere? I can work online. Okay. And a glad bag as well. Oh my goodness. Hang on. This is so stinking cute. Very floral little bag with a sweet little handle. And look, look, look. A stitch marker and or bag pull with a sweet kitty cat charm and a very pretty blue bead, which I'll bet you dollars to donuts is handmade from Miss Ingrid herself because she makes amazing, gorgeous beads. Oh, and there's stuff in here. Okay. Somebody's business card for S. Teresa Yarn Creations. Esther Teresa. Okay. And it is a phone number which does not look like... It's definitely not an American phone number, so we'll see about that. And there's lots of stuff in this little bitty bag. What? Hang on. Hang on. There's more. But wait, there's more. Okay. Okay, now I've gotten to the end of the bag. This is so nice. This is a uh, squishy, it's like a quilted squishy bag and it's lined and I, I adore this little kitty thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> now there is a card in here and I better find that first. Little blue organza bag. Miss Ingrid, you are too sweet. My favorite headbanging mermaid. She is, though, you know. She is our headbanging mermaid. Okay. Oh, and there's even little beads on. Yes, I broke my nail. Little beads on the envelope. Oh, let's see if I can open this. Broke a nail. I've got split skin on my fingers. It's just, it's been a week already, and it's, you know, it's early. <laughs> Look at this pretty card with all the purple beads on it. Hoping it's focusing. That is so sweet. And it was fun to celebrate your potiversary, um, even though we had to do it so, so quickly because of the rolling blackout things, load sharing. That's what y'all call it, load sharing. That really messed with my head, but we were like, okay, we gotta go. 
Oh, yes. I am looking forward to trying this. Nescafe Gold Cappuccino. It's like a mix, and I have seen several people talking about these, but never people over here. I don't know if we have these over here. Blend of frothy milk and coffee, crafted for indulgent moments. So yes, I will be looking forward to trying this, and it says unsweetened, so uh, I will be adding my non-sugar sweetener to it when I get to do that. Awesome. Also, Caracho Gold Specialty, Ooh, ginger lemon tea, yes! I think that's, I'm pretty sure it's tea. Okay, look, 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 look. That will have to be coming up on a Time for Tea video. Yes, I'm excited. Of course I'm excited. There's goodies in here. I got goodies. I'm a Joya. I'm a Joya. Looks like candies. And it doesn't say what they are on there. So I guess that they will be going in my mouth and I will be trying them out at some point. But on the front, the picture of this one, I think they're the same. And the, No, they're not the same in the picture. The picture on one has a much lighter brown on the outside. It looks like some mint leaves along with it. And the inside looks like a darker brown, like a darker chocolate. Hmm. That is this one here. Let's see if it'll focus. Okay. You can kind of see that picture as it wraps around. On this one, it is a darker brown on the outside and a lighter tan on the inside with no hint of a mint leaf. So, I'm looking forward to trying those, but not right this second because there's more to do, more to do. Oh, 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 yes. Ah! Ingrid, they're perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. You must see these. These are Ingrid Inspirations creations, straight up, okay? This one here, the bead has a sparkle because hello, these are, and I will wear these as a set of earrings because you know I will. Even though they don't technically match exactly, they are definitely a set. Below this one, it says, I love my cat. And on this one, as you can see, it is a sweet kitty, a lighter blue bead, and both of these are her beads. I can tell you that straight away. Look at that, that is gorgeous. And a sparkly blue one above. Ingrid, you are awesome. That That is just so stinking cute. Now right now, I'm going to put these back in this organza bag so that I don't lose that, definitely. And, hang on. To top it all off, there's some yarn in here. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I have to sniff the yarn. Look at this. That is a pretty color. It's 100% superwash merino, one ply, sock fingering weight, approximately 20 grams, 70 meters. It says to use a needle size 2.5, which is a four millimeter, it says. Um, hand wash separately with gentle soap and lukewarm water, lay flat to dry, one of a kind yarn, hand dyed in South Africa. This is by S. Teresa Yarn Creations. And this says Alana, look at that. That is so stinking pretty. Oh, and it's not just, oh wow. You kind of really examine this yarn and look through it. Yes, there are different tonal greens in there, which is really, really pretty. The greens and the yellows. And there is also a little hint of reddish orange. Just here and there. Very, very cool. I got some well-traveled yarn, y'all. Well-traveled. And this bag is darling. I love it. The yarn's going right back in the bag. And also, in this bag, which I got so excited about everything else, I almost missed this cute little wood cut sheep. Look at this little guy. That's adorbs. 
absolutely adorbs. Also by S. Teresa um, Yarn Creations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am tickled. I will link um, S. Teresa Yarn Creations down below because the information is on the business card, so I will definitely do that. Oh my gosh, this is just, just another thing to make my, I'm recording this on Tuesday, to make my Tuesday a whole lot better. Matter of fact, this is so much whole lot better that it will last me probably through the rest of the week. How about that? Now I do have one more thing to open. This I was expecting, but I have a feeling there's more in there than I was expecting. Does that make sense? Um, this is from Lisa Ladybird Loves. And all I did was take out the, uh, cut the doohickey on the top, the, the plastic. Oh. Okay. There's a story behind this. This is a Crochet Now magazine. It is one that you probably already saw on um, on Lisa's channel because she does go through the magazine. But notice this one is not open. Now I found I knew that her subscription was running out soon, so I went. I can't order this for myself to be delivered here. They will not deliver subscriptions to the U.S. Um, you have to. Um, what do you call it? You have to like go to Joann's or Michael's and buy them at a really high marked up price in order to get it. Because I get it. They have to ship it over and yada yada. Dude, make a deal. Get a bulk shipping deal and you will sell a lot of these over here because this is an awesome magazine. This is Crochet Now. Um, but I went and found a subscription because I love watching her do flip throughs of them. And... I just, you know, bought a subscription for her. Well, it turns out she ended up with two at once. She had to get a hold of them and, and you know, rig them a roll and, you know, talking to people and everything. Finally got it sorted, but she had an extra copy of this, so she sent it to me. The only reason that this is open <laughs> is because when mailing it, it just wouldn't fit in unless something was flattened out. So she had to rearrange things. She said, everything is there, but I just had to take it out and flatten it. I'm like, it's okay. It's really okay. And I'm going to go over this. Actually, I'm going to pull Lisa's stuff out right now. The extras from the magazine. Because, yes, the magazine is so cute. Oh, my gosh. 33 patterns in here. Yeah, I'm tickled. I am tickled. The Crochet Now magazine, I will be looking through that. Plus, the extras that came with it. I'm pretty sure... Okay. This is not a toy, it says. It's from Bright Spark Crochet. There is, oh my gosh, one of the teen, it's a three millimeter hook. It says three millimeter hook for fixing mistakes. <laughs> it's a rescue, a crochet rescue kit. There are some safety pins, the measuring tape, which I'm surprised is in inches considering this came from England. That is a little, oh, and it's got the centimeters on the back side. Okay, okay. We actually have that here now too. It has both sides, but most people don't look at the other side. Um, some darning needles in a gold color. I like that and they will fit in the container that I keep mine in. Perfect, always good to have some extras. So that is all super cute. And I am definitely looking forward to looking through that magazine when I have some time. But there's more in here. Cause you know, at least I can't just send a package. Oh wow, there's a lot more in here. How did you jam all this in here, woman? Mr. Porky. <laughs> oh, it's pork rind. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that they ate, like, pork things. These feel more like cracklings than, um, yeah, than regular pork rind. Um... Didn't know this was eaten over in the UK. It's actually pretty common over here. Cracklings, yeah, warning, only suitable for those with strong, healthy teeth. Because cracklings are a little bit harder to eat. Wow, looking forward to that. Hand-cooked snacks, finest quality scratchings. Traditionally crafted and seasoned. But Mr. Porky, really... If y'all know the story of Mr. Beefy, y'all know why this is so funny to me. Anyway. 
There's more in here. Oh, gosh. All kinds of goodies. Hang on. All right. Strawberry straws. And they look like gummy sort of things, like little mini gummy churros, but they look like the shape of them. But they're coated in probably some kind of sugar or maybe something sour. I will find out when I open them because I'm not opening them right now. And finally, last but not least, Dip Dab. Dip Dab. Sherbet dip with a tasty strawberry flavor lolly. Okay, yeah, there's a stick in there. So there's a lollipop. Oh, what is the name of the stuff that we have over here that's like this? Fun dip. We have something similar called fun dip probably. I'll have to compare. I might get some fun dip just to compare the two. But yeah, I thought it was kind of packed like a compact thing, but it isn't. It's give it a shake and it's back to its normal self. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Ain't no kids in here, and I'm not going to let Oscar have it, although he is well over 36 months. Let's be real. All right. That looks like fun. I've got candy from the UK. I got these. I have something by Mr. Porky, a cool magazine awesome gifts and beads and everything else from Ingrid. Yeah. And to top it all off, this was not, it's not part of the happy mail, but I got my annual review for last year and uh, got rated exceptional. What, what? So yeah, all in all on a Tuesday, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for sticking around. I appreciate you watching me open the happy mail. There were some playlists that popped up along the way while you were here, plus some links to these folks' channels. Um, check it all out. You, you're going to love it. You'll love them. You'll love that. You'll love playlists. And uh, come on back if you can. See you soon.